Now move into our next slide. That is type of secondary storage devices. Before we start brief discussion, we need to know why we need a secondary storage. Computer uses main memory such as RAM and cache memory to hold the data is being processed. However, the type of memory is volatile and it losses its data when the computer is switched off. General purpose computers such as personal computers and tablets need to store programs and the data for later use. That is why secondary storage is needed to keep programs and data in long term. Secondary storage is non-volatile and able to keep data as long term storage. They are used for various purposes such as backup data used for future stores or disaster recovery. Long term archiving of data that is not frequently accessed and storage of non-critical data in lower performing less expensive drive. Now there are mainly two types of storage. One is fixed storage, other one is removable storage. Fixed storage is the internal media devices used by the computer system to store the data. Usually these are referred to as fixed disk driver or hard drives. Like internal flash memory that is rarely used, SSD solid state disk that is frequently used nowadays and another one is hard disk drive that is HDD. Now renewable storage. Renewable storage is external media devices that used by a computer system to store the data. Usually these are referred to as removable disk driver or external driver. For example, optical disk like CDs, DVDs, Blu-ray disk, memory cards, floppy disks, magnetic tapes, etc. Now move to the next slide. That is classification of secondary storage device. Mainly secondary storage devices are classic, classified mainly in two parts sequential access devices or direct access devices. Sequential access devices are magnetic tape and rest of the other secondary storage devices are direct access devices. <coughs> now, magnetic tapes. Magnetic tapes is a plastic tape with magnetic coating that is stored medium on large open reel or in a smaller cutters or cassette like musical cassette you see in the picture. Magnetic tapes are cheaper storage media. They are durable, can be retained, erased and, and rewritable. Magnetic tapes are sequential access devices which means the tape need to be rewind to move forward to the location there is a requested data in the position in a magnetic tape. Due to their sequential nature, magnetic tapes are not suitable for data files. You see the tape recorder. So when we want to listen a music, so we need to go to the rewind or forward it that to listen the music. So it has also has advantages as well as disadvantages. Advantages expensive storage devices, inexpensive storage devices uh, also can store large amount of data, easy to carry or transport and disadvantages is not suitable for the random access data. <coughs> 